In this second content manager demonstration session, we're going to focus on features in the version 10 content manager web client that we didn't cover in the first session. And this is specifically going to revolve around finding documents, searching for documents, and being able to act on documents once they're found. The difference between searching and finding is really one is all about searching based on metadata or text elements and finding is essentially browsing. So in the demonstration earlier, we worked with trays, we worked with a little bit with file plans and with client and matters. So we've seen those. I want to cover some of the items that we did not show in the new Explorer panel uh, earlier in that first demonstration. So I'm going to talk specifically about schedules, holds, and jurisdictions. So if I expand the schedules object, what we get are a list of retention schedules that are defined and stored in Content Manager and assigned to documents to control how long documents can be kept in the system before they become a candidate for either archiving or disposal. But from a browsing perspective, we can also look for documents based on the retention schedule assigned once we've exposed this object. So it gives me the ability to look for documents based on the different retention schedules, which may be useful for me to be able to locate documents that may be of interest, perhaps HR documents or contract documents. Holds relate to legal holds, which are defined and being enforced in Content Manager. A hold represents an order from a court requiring that plaintiffs in a legal action uh, suspend disposal of documents that are pertinent to a, a legal matter at hand, although they've been used to cover uh, audits and other activities where you don't want documents modified or disposed of while an examination is going on. So like the retention schedules, I can go in and review the documents that have been applied to holds in the same way. And then the third object, jurisdictions, in a way is related to schedules because jurisdictions apply to where a document belongs or where it's from. So we can set up our own list of jurisdictions. So you can actually create jurisdictions to meet your requirements. So for instance, if you're in, a, in an industry where uh, U.S. state retention schedules may come into play, then you can actually define different states or other uh, entities that would be jurisdictions that you could then assign retention schedules to. So we can see then where the documents are that were created from the USA or from Canada or from EMEA, uh, depending on what you want to do with that information. So that's finding. Let's talk about searching specifically now. We added a new quick search capability into the Content Manager version 10 web client, and it's the two fields here uh, at the top, search methods and then the enter search query box. This capability has been in the Windows client for a number of releases, and now we've made it available within the Content Manager web client as well. So to make use of it, if you're interested in searching for document titles, all you need to do is enter in the uh, part of the title you're interested in searching on. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use the name of the corporation that I was creating statements of work for in the first demonstration. So it's bringing back all the documents and objects that contain reverse a corp in the title of the document. The second form of freeform search I can perform is uh, typing in a record number. So if we type in 20 slash nine, this relates to a folder that I was using as part of that first demonstration. If you're unclear as to what the value is or what metadata field this is referring to, and you want to specifically state, I'm looking for information uh, belonging to a certain data field, 
you can go into the search methods and query uh, based on a specific metadata field. So in order to make use of it, you either scroll down and find the field that you're interested in making use of, or you can begin typing in information about the field name. So I went ahead and started typing date filed. I got my result. Uh, I'll go ahead and type in a, a suitable search string based on date time. So previous seven days gets me back the documents from the past seven days that have been filed in the system. So it's a it allows you to get very specific about the metadata fields you want to use. If you like the search results you've gotten and you want that query criteria saved, we can save the searches so that they can be reused. These Save searches can either be used specifically by you as the creator of the search, or you can share it out with other people as well. Now, in addition to the quick search form, we also have added in the system an ability to use a search editor where we build the query clause by clause. So again, if I were to do what I had done before, date filed, and we say that the range is previous seven days and that I'm interested also in looking for uh, a title so I'm going to type in title and I'm going to grab the title field and I'm going to say I'm interested in everything that contains POC I can then conduct my search that way as well. And then finally, I also can use search forms. So a form search is a way to focus specific fields on the form that people can then use to search for content. And these forms are customizable and you can have multiple forms available for people to use. Now, when you get a search result, you can then begin to do things like check out the information about the documents and take actions against that document. So if I just select a document and I'm interested in looking at its properties, I just go over to the right side, click on the properties tab, I get the available properties displayed. So access controls, audit events, and other metadata values associated with this document are then available. If I am interested in maybe being a little more specific about what I'm looking for in terms of audit events or access control rights, I can actually get back the audit re results in a list format. And the same thing applies to the access controls in a more uh, visually appealing format. And in this case, I have permissions to change the access control so I could do that as well. The last item I wanted to talk about is being able to take mass actions against a selection of documents. So from these result sets, I can select multiple documents and then I have a mass actions list that appears when I've checked off multiple documents. So I can perform a bulk action against the documents I've selected. So in this case, I'm going to finalize the three documents I was using in my demonstration. And a finalization renders the documents as read-only uh, in the content management system. So they can't be edited, they can't be deleted, uh, they can't be at, uh, modified in any way now until they're disposed of. So again, what we were doing here is we're showing how we can do uh, finds based on browsing for different types of attributes that are available in the Content Manager web client. We can perform searches using the new quick search method or form-based search or the search editor. And then once we get the documents in a result set, we can review information about them. We can perform actions against one document or against multiple documents. So that concludes this second demonstration of the Content Manager version 10 web client.